Welcome back to Grand Blank Mitsubishi. This is what we've been waiting for, the 2020 model Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. We just had a truckload of these come in. This is the first one that we've, we were able to get here to the U.S. for us anyway. But I do want to touch base with what the 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport has to offer for this new redesign that they've done on the vehicle. So where do we even get started? Well, let's start with the front. Grill, definitely changed out the grill. Bumper, changed that out too. Big, wide-looking approach on it, very aggressive looking. Uh, definitely reflects back to a styling that they're going with with the Eclipse Cross, which has done really, really well for Mitsubishi this year and the past two years. You're going to have a new, new design on this LED light, which I really like, and it's tough to see when you're watching on this video, <clears throat> but it's actually going to be one solid beam. Instead of seeing the individual LEDs going through, it's one Beam. It looks so much cleaner. Then you have high beams and low beams up here. You're going to have two of these turn on that are going to be your low beam and then your high beam as well. Well, those are all LED as well. Down below, you're going to have your fog lights here. You're going to have your turn signal up top. Now, this is going to be a standard option for all of this on even the entry level ES. Well, we're here. We're in the 2020 Outlander Sport SE from Mitsubishi this year is what we're showing you now. So let's take a look at what's inside uh, of this, this whole package. So as you take a look around, you got some really bold lines that are coming around here. Last year, the fender came all the way up and met the hood. Now the hood is resting on top of the fender and the headlights there. So that's a more, a, a more defined approach, way more edges, way more lines. It's just very good, especially on this uh, pearl white paint job that Mitsubishi has to offer. What you'll see on this too is the SE has the same wheel package as the ES, but the badge that goes on your fender up here too, that badge is going to actually have a turn signal built into the ES versus no turn signal built into the uh, SE model because they go right back up here and now you have your turn signal built into the mirror cap. So it's basically going to be one or the other. And I like the, uh, the, the wheels that I had mentioned are totally new design. They're going to be painted in the background of them. And then you have the, the aluminum finish to the front, so that milled finish on the front of the vehicle, or on the front of the wheel. As you take a walk around the vehicle too, you're going to see the door is going to have your, your fast key that we're going to have uh, for Mitsubishi as well. That's going to allow you to enter into the vehicle with just leaving the key in your purse or your pocket or on your person somewhere. And as long as you're within arm's reach and still have the key with you, then you're able to get into the vehicle and access it. They kept a very good styling going around through the backside of this vehicle too. So on the taillight assembly, this is LED. So if you heard me earlier, we go, okay, here's the LED taillights, here's the LED headlights, here's the LED low beams, high beams, fogs, turn signals. They've changed everything over to that LED. And I do want, since you're back here, I'm actually going to start this because you've got to see the reverse lights on this vehicle too. Those are LED as well. So I'll show you a couple lighting options here. We're going to turn on the hazards. We'll turn on the reverse lights. And that way you can check it out. So there is the... Uh, the blinkers or the hazards, you see your brake lights illuminating, and then when we fire it up and put the vehicle into reverse, it's like, wow, you can definitely see, because it is a very bright reverse light. Do you want to grab the, the headlights while we're, while we're looking at this too and just check those out? Um, let's take a look at the, the headlights. I'll turn off your, your uh, turn signal here. And that's your headlights on low beam. There's your high beams, and here's your fog lights, and here's your turn signal. So as we're taking a look at the LED lighting package all the way around, well, they've definitely paid attention to it on the 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. What I'd like to take a look at, too, is just some of the things that they've, they've had in the past that they haven't gotten rid of that I actually really like. The top part of the roof here, these are two little black... Um, patch covers that go here. Why? Because they have an assembly for a crossbar assembly. So if you do the skiing, the, you know, the kayaking, the bike riding, it's very easy because I, I'm about five foot seven, five eight roughly, but you can still put a bike, a kayak up there and you don't have to be six foot five like you do on some of these really, really tall SUVs. Other things that are nice, you still have your locking uh, gas door here in the back. I definitely want to look in the, in the trunk area of the vehicle too. This one happens to have all weather floor mats. So we put those down. This is actually going to be your carpeted floor mats. And you actually have a cargo tray cover right here. So this is going to be that all weather mat material as well. Underneath, we still have our full size spare. The nice thing about that is Mitsubishi, whether you have a, a two wheel drive or a four wheel drive or all wheel drive system, they're going to give you that full, that full size spare because so many 
of Mitsubishi's vehicles are that four-wheel drive and that pedigree of, of, of using the uh, that all-wheel control system that we've, we've been known for and still have world records on. Let's take a look at the back seat. <coughs> Pardon my voice. The back seat here, they've, they've still kept very good room, and I want to sit in it so you can see the size of it. And again, I'm about 5'8". I love the design. This is new for, uh, for the, the actual cloth and fabric, but if you take a look and you make that little thing right there, mm -hmm. it makes your Mitsubishi diamonds. They're always cool about hiding the diamonds on you, and they're everywhere. So the cool thing about Mitsubishi and Mitsubishi Triple Diamond is what they're looking at is going price, fuel economy, and you also want to mention the 10 year 100,000 mile warranty, uh, warranty that's going to be coming with the powertrain on this vehicle. On top of that, it's unbelievable safety standards too. So you, you're going to have excellent insurance premiums on this instead of you know, paying for skyrocketed insurance because your vehicle has that total loss. Yeah, we're going to go inside the vehicle too. Take a look at the, uh, the interior because you definitely are going to have some changes when it comes to the touch screen that's inside of the 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. This, you may notice, on our last video, we did the Outlander. And in here is going to be the new 8-inch touchscreen that's going to be coming with the Outlander Sport 2. So you're going, oh, man, that thing's massive. Well, let me push this. We're in our, our home screen here. But what I want to look at, too, and I haven't done this uh, on our last video, was I want to show you the backup camera and how much you can see. It is huge, giving you a massive range of vision. So it makes it very, very comfortable to get uh, the vehicle parked. Right now, I, I'm in, uh, we can go to our home display. So when you fire the vehicle up, if your phone's not plugged in, I'm using Apple CarPlay right now, but this will be your home screen. If you simply click Apple CarPlay, it'll pull up everything that, that you want to take a look at. Text messages, your Pandora, your maps. So if we simply click on our maps here, you'll be able to see where your, your destination is. We're inside of a cinder block building covered in metal, so it may not give us the best reading on that at this point in time, but. What I'd like to say too is, if you go through and you go, media, what do I want to pick? There's so many different options that you can use between your USB ports, your Bluetooth, your iPod, your AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio. Uh, USB video? When you're in park. We're going to try that out. I, I guess we're going to have to, we need to. So, other things to take a look at, push button starting in the 2020 uh, Mitsubishi Outlander Sport in the SE model. Not in all models, so if we get into the ES or if we get into uh, the lower trim levels, you're not going to have that push button start option. So we definitely need to be in the SC and above. Heated seats are going to be coming standard with this vehicle as well. We did do the all weather mats. We've got a very easy display up front for us as well. And over on this side, in front of my left knee, you're actually going to see a blind spot awareness and a forward mitigation and a lane keeping system option that is standard in the SE and above. Self dimming rear view mirror as well. That's a nice touch too. And really the seats, the contour on the seat is very, very comfortable. There's plenty of room, a leather wrapped steering wheel, a cruise control, our Bluetooth. And even on our Bluetooth, we can press once, uh, very, you know, just tap the button and it's gonna give you Bluetooth. If you press and hold, it'll actually take you to Siri. So now I've got my Siri up on the phone and it's not gonna understand me, but no big deal. We'll just get right back out of it. So taking a look at the 2020 Outlander Sport, this is a brief overview because we want to make sure that you got a chance to see the vehicle right when it came out. This is going to have the 2 liter, the 2.0 liter engine that's going to be with this vehicle too. That's going to be a, a, a motor they've had out, it seems like forever. They've had it in the Lancer, they've had it in the Sport, they put a, a version of this in your PHEV, the 2 liter there too. So as you're taking a look at, uh, you know, why do they do such a long warranty? Well, when you've had the vehicle produce excellent service for customers and excellent maintenance, uh, then yeah, they, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess is the old, the old saying, right? So looking in here, this is gonna be the MyVec 2.0 liter. You're gonna have plenty of, of room to work if there's you know, a mechanic needing to uh, get into the vehicle. You have your clear reservoirs and containers. They're super easy to see and be able to monitor that way as well. The nice thing that, uh, that I look at with this too is anytime that there's a new model that's out, right? Everybody go, goes, Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna buy the first model year. Well, this is a very this is the same platform, it's just gone through really body style changes. So your headlights, your hoods, your bumpers, your rear bumper, uh, tail lights, things like that. But we're not going on a whole new platform. We're not doing a whole different engine, we're not doing a different CVT transmission. It's the tried and true bones underneath the vehicle that have performed awesome for Mitsubishi over the last Oh, let's see, the Outlander Sports, the number one selling vehicle for them for decades. So now we know that this is an excellent opportunity. 
for us to take a look at the 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. If you're curious on these, and you want a little bit more information, you can check out our website. It's www.grandblankmitsubishi.com, or you can just pick up the phone and give us a call. It's 810-579-2030. My name is Paul Zagman. I'm the sales manager up here, and I'd love to talk to you about a new 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport.